Welcome to Chapel Hill, North Carolina and Keenan Memorial Stadium, home of the North Carolina Tar Heels. And basketball may be in the blood, but football is certainly in the soul. There's nothing quite like a great rivalry matchup in college football. The bitterness, the intensity, the lifetime of memories that will come as a result of what we're about to see in this one. As we'll see a squad from the ACC, the Wake Forest Demon Deacons, taking on the eighth-ranked team in the land, the North Carolina Tar Heels. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside... The Demon Deacons will boot it away to start the game. Here he comes from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. So the North Carolina Tar Heels offense takes the field for the first time today. These rivalry games can really get the blood pumping, and we'll see who can manage their emotions best early. Everyone's been waiting for this game, right? You know both of these teams have had this game circled all the way back to the beginning of the offseason, so you got to be able to play under control. With passion, with energy, with hatred, because it's a rivalry game, they'll keep your emotions in check and making sure I'm controlling what I can control. Didn't take long to need a clutch play on the opening drive. It's third and seven. It's a draw. Went to the running game on third down and picked up five, but still a couple of yards short. It's fourth and two. The Tar Heels send out the punt unit. The punter going to get his first work of the afternoon. Running it back, it's Claiborne. They'll put a stop to that return at about the 37-yard line. The Demon Deacons offense will take the field for the first time. One way to mitigate the explosive capabilities he has on the outside is be physical with him, and this dude will do that. He will do that, and you don't see a lot of offenses take the top off this D because of this guy roaming around in the middle of the field. He is a true center fielder, so this receiver's gonna have to make plays. I just does such a great job of getting guys on the ground. A lot of people are in position, but he makes plays, so him versus a dynamic wide receiver on the outside would be a great matchup. Just sort of a relentless run, getting everything that was available to him, and they'll mark him down at the 40. Here they come, facing third and long from the 40. To the air, it's Bachmeyer. Fires to the wideout. The receiver was doubled, and they picked it off. And they'll close in on him after a good return on the interception. Not the start this kid was looking for. Very first pass of the day gets picked off. This is a defense that's got a lot of ball hawks on the back end, and he's got to be real careful with his eyes, not telegraph throws like he did right there. He's going to have to settle in. North Carolina has it back, and the Tar Heels so pleased to send the offense back out. After a punt on their last possession, they are set up in plus territory this time. And honestly, it wouldn't have mattered if they scored a touchdown in their last possession. You've got to be able to turn the page and see this is a brand new opportunity to go get points. Yeah, and your defense has set you up for the position to get points right away. Now, let's get this offense back rolling again, create some momentum, just get a few first downs, and I'm in scoring position. Moving closer to the red zone, it's at the 27 on first down. Use the play fake, now to throw. Unloads to the wideout. Find space on the right. Defense is there to make the stop, but he's got the first down, and they'll have it first and goal with the six. They'll try to get it in with the run. Running toward the goal line. It's a fumble. Defense swarming on that loose ball. It'll be a turnover. What a play by the defense. With their backs against the wall in a goal line type situation, they're able to force a fumble and jump on it. That is how you change momentum in a game. Wake Forest has it back, and here comes the offense. After that last pick, David, they really need to take care of the ball this time. No doubt. And, and Palmer, I want to know what Spurrier said to you on the sideline after that pick. Do that again, and you'll be right here beside me for the rest of the game. <laughs> you got to go out. you got to call your plays. And I hope this coaching staff isn't going to be afraid to throw at this drop. Fires to the tight end. 
And a good job of coverage by that defense. Just a short pickup. 30 short. They've got them back up inside the 20. And the D can get the ball back here. Trying to make that rush think on the draw play here. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. And the Demon Deacons will line up to punt it away. Gets the first one of the day out of there, and we saw a lot of him in that loss the last week, four times to be exact. The solid return there offsets some of the punt yardage and really sets up this offense nicely. Here comes the offense on first down. On the move, it's Hampton. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one somehow. It's second and seven. Kept it on the ground on first down. Now back to the line. Going to the running game. Brought down at the 30-yard line. It's a gain of six. They've worked it down to the 30. This defense standing tall, trying to force a field goal try. They'll try to bully their way for the first. And the Tar Heels are stopped, but not before getting it past the sticks. They'll put it in play from the 27, first down. Finds a tight end. And just a short, safe pass play. They pick up a few. And now on second down for this offense. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. And he's brought to the ground, but not before he gets enough for the first down. The Tar Heels are moving quickly down the field. From the gun, the running back has it. Staying physical in the red zone as he's pulled down after picking up three balls at the 14. Johnson wants to throw it. He's got him in the flat. And they wrap him up, but not before he gets enough on the catch for the first down. Defense is backed up. Shadow of the goalpost trying to defend their own end zone. He's got it down to the one-yard line right on the doorstep of Pater. We'll see if the offense can punch it in on second and goal. Tries again to get it in. Into the end zone he goes. Touchdown, UNC! Precision blocking up front. Created the open lane, and the running back followed it beautifully. Yeah, um, it's pretty easy to follow an offensive line that makes those holes and just gives you a caravan all the way to the end zone. What an unbelievable job blocking up front. Ready to try the point after. And the PAT makes it 7-0. We check in with Kevin Connors. What's going on, Kevin? Guys, right back to your game after we update the nation on this one. North Texas overcame a tough opponent, and not only that, a raucous crowd. The mean green tuned out all the noise and showed this team can win on its field, your field, or a neutral field. Well done. 60 minutes of football and a convincing outcome, and certainly a game with implications far beyond just the standings, fellas. Kevin, thanks a lot for that one. Sounds as if they had a good one there. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And the running game has been going in the wrong direction. They'll try to get their first positive play of the drive here on third down. Getting some heat. And the quarterback goes down all the way back at his four-yard line. This is a tough part of the field. You want to try to create some space and, and give yourself an opportunity not to throw out of your own end zone. They didn't hold up in protection. They give up the sack, but thank goodness they didn't give up a safety. The Demon Deacons will punt this one away. Three and out and not much choice but to get rid of the ball. Sometimes avoiding disaster is the best thing. The punter just gets it out of there. And the returner will be dragged down. The North Carolina offense returns to the field. That last drive really productive. David wound up with a touchdown. They'll try to do it again. Yeah, so I don't expect this offense to change too much, Reese. They had a great drive. They got the touchdown. Everything working. I would expect them to keep pushing this ball downhill. And just imagine if they could put another touchdown on the board right here. They could capture so much momentum in this game with back-to-back -back TDs. Guys, we've reached the end of the period, and North Carolina's on top. we put one in the books. Let's have a look at our game summary. Zero. 
They've switched ends of the field, and we're ready to get things started here in the second. Just feeds the running back. And he was able to run through one tackle, but still only a modest gain. And now on third down after that last run. Trying to pick it up on the ground. And they did not let him reach the line to gain. It'll bring up a decision here. And on fourth down, here comes the field goal unit. Oh, look at this. The kicker's going to run it. And they thought they could pull off the surprise. Well, the surprise was on them. A stop. I know they wanted to be aggressive, throw caution to the wind. They might have been better off playing it safe there. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. The give to the back. Nice, solid form tackle from this sophomore. Ball is at the 41 as his defense tries to force the punt on third and long. They're trying to get to it. With the catch, it's Claiborne. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. And the Demon Deacons will try to pin them back with the punt. Gets it away, solid distance, but more importantly, trying to keep it away from that return man. North Carolina has it back in the Tar Heels, so pleased to send the offense back out. Off the play fake on first down. Fires to the big fella. Didn't pick up a lot there. Moved it forward just a few. Right on target with that last pass. Now it's second and medium. Looking for a gap. It's Hampton. Dragged down after a pickup of five out to the 35. These are the types of plays where offenses impose their will. Third and short from the 45. A little pre-snap eye candy for the defense. And he gets it up to the 36. It'll be a first down. And the Tar Heels come to the line with a fresh set of downs. To the ground. He's got it again. We had a barn burner the last time these two teams played, and no reason to expect anything else between these two bitter rivals. Attention to detail, and I think the sense of urgency, David, in a game like this just goes way. And I think managing the emotions in these type of games, you, you know last year was a classic. Now we're trying to form this year's identity of this team and go out and get a win in a big-time rivalry game. Receiver on the move gets the touch pass. Crosses the 10. And chunk plays are the name of the game. And they get one here before the defense finally makes a stop. The give to the tailback. They wrestle him to the ground, but he's got plenty for a first down. The Tar Heels have pushed it inside the 20. They're looking to pass from the red zone. Throws to the wideout. Snags it. And he'll go out of bounds just short of the goal line, and they've got it right on the doorstep. And the Tar Heels line it up with a first and goal. Johnson looking to throw. Swings it out to his running back. And he is going to be forced out of bounds behind the line of scrimmage. Tremendous defense there. They'll run it up the middle here, looking for a path to the end zone. And he's sprinting. He'll take it all the way. Touchdown, North Carolina. Man, did he show some hot for that one. Some serious vertical right there. I tell you what, everybody in front of you, hey, I'll go by air if I need to. Good job getting in the air, getting the touchdown. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point pushes the lead to 14. They put together a 74-yard touchdown drive. And he got into the house from the six to finish it. He'll start the return inside his five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Wake Forest has it back, and here comes the Deacon offense. 
Now we'll get a chance to see if they can answer that last score, trailing by 14, Jesse. Yeah, and at this point in the game, I feel like offensively, you should go back to what's been working for you in this game. Don't be afraid to dial up plays that you've already had success with, running it and throwing it. It's okay to repeat plays down 14 at this point. And I would also say, Palmer, kind of understanding that my defense is not playing great, so I know offensively, I got to put some good possessions together here, make something happen on this side of the football. He was not going to be denied, discarding tacklers, running behind his pads, and finally down at the 40. Give to the running back. They get him on the ground after he gets enough to move the sticks. The Demon Deacons are on the move. From the gun, the running back looking for room. And the defense snows him under after a very short game. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. They'll leave it with him. And he does a really nice job finding open space and making a good game before the stop is made. They'll try to move the chains on the ground. They'll move the chains. Good execution on third down. They've got it at the 41. We've made our way to the two-minute warning, and now they'll try to at least cut a little something off of this lead before the break. Almost intercepted. It'll fall incomplete. The defense almost came up with a turtle. Now second and ten. Looking to throw. It's Buckmeyer. It's caught. What a nice connection. Knocked down immediately, and they've got it at the 25. Finally, this offense starting to show a little juice. They've got a first and ten. He's looking to throw it. Excellent coverage and good use of the hands to knock it away. This offense has a second down play. He's looking to throw. Can't make the connection in the defense, putting on the heat and forcing the incompletion. They were really starting to put a drive together, but after a couple of incompletions, now they need a big play on third and ten. And he just flat and missed him. Sometimes you see a guy, he's open, and you try to baby it too much, and it was a bad throw. Between the uprights, it's good. They were able to get a field goal on the board, and now they'll kick it away. And he's going to try to return this one. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The North Carolina offense returns to the field. They'll crank up this drive with the pass. Lofts one high and deep. And that will be incomplete, man. That would have been a big hitter if they could have done it, but second down coming. He's looking to throw, using the quick game. One of the most difficult things about this slot receiver is his shiftiness and his athleticism. He's very, very difficult to tackle after the catch. Coming after it. And they get to the quarterback and knock him down back at the 16. Here's a timeout on the field. Tight game here late in the first half. The Tar Heels will punt it away on fourth down. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. He'll call for the fair catch here. First down here for the offense. Back to throw. It's Buckmeyer. Right down the middle. Makes a connection. He gets it to the 31-yard line. A big play for this offense. And a really good job by the quarterback being very decisive. He saw his matchup. He went for it. He attacked it. Got the positive game. I would say he's going to find that guy a few more times today. And wings it incomplete. He'll try to get on the same page this time. Second and 10 from the 31. After the incompletion, back to the passing game. Snagged in the middle. It's green. There's a timeout called as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. They're in uncharted territory here. Finally in the red zone. It took the whole first half. It's first and 10 from the 20. Pulls it in. It's Morin. 
and he'll make his way out of bounds after the solid pickup. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. On second down, just keeps firing. And that's going to fall to the ground incomplete. That was a physical matchup there. Third down coming. Looking to throw for it. He's got it and still on his feet. He steps out of bounds, but it'll be enough to give them a first and goal. He's looking to pass. They get enough rush, and it pays off. The sack at the 20. The hurry up now, second down, clock ticking. He's looking to throw. They're bringing heat. And here comes the pressure, and there he goes down again. The offense calls timeout, and they won't have any more left this half. It's third and long. Let's see if he's got enough juice in that arm. Pass is incomplete. The clock is down to nine. Now on fourth down, they'll send out the field goal unit. Well, they've already made one. The holder will put it down at the 38 for a 48-yard attempt. He got it. So they get the late field goal right before the half and not much time after this kickoff for an answer. From inside his own 10, let's see what he gets. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. Under a minute to play here in the first half, and the offense will take a knee, and that is how we'll wrap up the first half. We played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Thanks so much, guys, and I need not tell you, rivalry games always bring out a ton of emotion, and no surprise, we saw just that in the first half today. And we've got to start our halftime breakdown with this superstar running back. His elusiveness, his raw power. This young man is the total package. And his ability to catch the ball out of the backfield is a differentiator. A lot of guys can hit the hole. This kid can hit the hole and hit the home run in the passing game. With that, let's throw it back to the guys to see how this rivalry matchup plays out. On the run from inside his own five. And the returner could find no daylight. He goes down. The Wake Forest offense returns to the field. He'll start this third quarter with a run. Not much there. Picks up a couple to the 22. And the Demon Deacons want to move quickly. From the gun, Give on the inside. Maybe picked up a couple, he's down at the 24. Here on third down for this offense. Looks as if the defense was a little too eager there, got into the neutral zone, and that'll be a five-yard penalty. Hey, coach, coach, defense. Defense. So the early contact for the defense, and they'll move it up five yards. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. Still running at the 40. Oh, look out. And perhaps a touchdown saving tackle as he gets him down at the 37. And third and one, you know they're running the football. It's just a matter of who's getting it and where they're going. But this offense, it really didn't matter. Nice job up front. Nice execution. Picking up not only the one, making it an even bigger play and getting the first down. Touch pass on the jet sweep. And a good, solid pick up there before the defense knocks him down. Up-tempo for the offense. From the gun, running back gets to give. Tackle is made after the first down. The Demon Deacons are rolling down the field. Looking to go up top on first down. Grabbed in the middle, it's Claiborne. The stop is made, but this offense is threatening. First and goal from the nine. Defense is backed up. Shadow of the goal post trying to defend their own end zone. And he's loose, and he'll take it to the house. Touchdown, Wake! 
great example of how a second half can really change everything for a team. No doubt. First half looked bad. It looked like it was bleak. It looked like it was ugly. But now you're starting to get it turned around. More drives like this is what's needed. And it looks as if they've buzzed down. Replay wants to have another peek at that last play. So after reviewing the undisputable video evidence, the replay booth has decided to overturn the call. He'll run it to the right, looking for the goal line. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Wake Forest. Got to start cutting into this lead somewhere. Now the question, will they have enough time? But that's step one. You, you got to get that first score. You got to get back in the ball game and get some of that momentum back on your side. You still got more work to do, but step one accomplished. They got the touchdown, but now they want the two to tie this baby up. Scanning the field, it's Bachmeyer. And good coverage and better hands on that shot to the end zone. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. And he takes this from inside the five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. North Carolina has it back in the Tar Heels. So pleased to send the offense back out. Finds a little bit of space, gets three to the 22. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Give to the running back. Getting that push, a pickup of four out to the 26. Facing a third down and short from the 26. From the gun, wants to pass. Caught in the backfield, it's Hampton. And they gave him no chance to get loose, and they force a fourth down. And the Tar Heels decide to punt it away. He'll be content with the field position, making the fair catch right around the 30-yard line. First play of this drive will start from the 31-yard line. They'll come out on this drive and let it rip. Makes the grab. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. Well, how about the offense setting that play up? We've seen earlier in the game a couple shorter throws. They're just trying to suck those safeties closer to the line of scrimmage, anticipating that they would get an opportunity to take a shot. They called the perfect play at the perfect time. Pressure is effective from the defense. They knock him down just behind the midfield stripe at the 48. They've given up three sacks a week ago. Now you've already given up four sacks. they got to find a way to protect their quarterback, give him a little bit more time. He'll try to keep that sack from wrecking this drive here on second and 15. Looking for a man. It's Bachmeyer. Nowhere to go, and the ball is loose. Scoops it up. Still a live ball. Well, the offense is able to avoid disaster right there. The problem is they fumbled it, but thankfully they were able to jump back on and not have a tournament. Whatever they did on first and second down, don't do that anymore. Third and very long coming up. Looking to throw, and he needs a bunch. And the missed connection on third down. And the Demon Deacons line up to punt it away. Fourth time tonight we've seen this guy come on to punt. He will not make a fair catch. Feel the punt and bring it back. They'll put that return to a stop at the 33, but the offense set up in pretty good field position. Off the play fake on first down to throw. He's got it. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. And I love the awareness by the wide receiver on that play because I'm not sure that route was supposed to be that deep. You got to wonder if the receiver decided maybe to adjust the route a little bit to make sure that he got the first down. Offense gets set for second down. Second down. On the ground, it's Hampton. 
They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Offense breaks the huddle. It's third down. They'll try to run for it. They tried to go smash mouth on third and short, and it did not work against this defense. And they're running out the kicker to give it a try. From 56 yards out, what a power leg. Never a doubt about that one. Well, that kid just showed off his hammer for a leg. 50-plus, and he did it with ease. He'll bring it out. Stopped at the 17, and he's probably second-guessing that return. Wake Forest has it back, and here comes the offense. That last drive won't go on the highlight reel after ending in a punt. They'd like to be more productive this time, David. And I think this offense has to be a little bit more balanced. Find a little balance between the run, Jesse, and working in that pass. And I think, too, David, it's just going to take a spark. It just takes one play to get this thing picked up and going. He's brought down, but not before they pick up the big first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Grabbed over the middle. It's Alexander. That play won't make the highlight reel, except in the coaches' meetings as he works his way to the 39. Pulls it and fires to the left. He almost picked up the first down on that one, but he'll be just a little bit short. Four punts already, and they've got to convert here to avoid a fifth. Nice pick up there. Gets him the first down and sets him up at the 45-yard line. The Demon Deacons have this offense rolling. The give to the running back from the shotgun. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Second down coming up. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Now facing a third and long from the 50-yard line. Back to throw. It's Buckmeyer. And that's incomplete. A defender all over him. Knocked the ball to the ground. Fourth down coming up. And the Demon Deacons will send out the punt unit. They may have to pay him overtime. He's punting for the fifth time today. And the ball hits at the three and gets into the end zone. It'll be a touchback. The North Carolina offense returns to the field. Makes the quick grab. You'll take four yards on first down every time, second and six. Try and play action. Nothing doing downfield. He'll cut his losses and throw it away. It'll be third down. Now this offense tries to figure out a way to move the chains after the second down misfire. Pressure coming. And there was nowhere to go for this quarterback, and down he goes. Oh, it's a missed opportunity. You know the quarterback was excited. He saw man coverage. He thought he was going to have an opportunity to come up with a big play, but up front they could not protect him well enough. Number 96, on to kick it away. He'll settle for some pretty good field position and make the fair catch at around the 35. Guys, we've reached the end of the period and North Carolina's on top. Let's take a quick look at the national rankings to see how this playoff race is shaping up. One more period to go to see who can make the winning plays and come home with the victory. Wake Forest has it back, and here comes the Deacon offense. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. You want to make sure to maximize those types of runs, and he gets it out to the 41. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Off play action. Those two not on the same page. It's incomplete. They've got a good chunk of ground to cover on third and long from the 41. It'll be a draw. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. The Demon Deacons will call on their punt team. They're up to a half dozen kicks today. 
He'll field the putt and look for room. Cover guys do their job, and they get him stopped at the 22-yard line. Okay, so here comes the offense returning to the field. Moving the running back, forcing the defense to adjust. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. They go to the ground. Found a little bit of running room, knocked down at the 24 after a pickup of four. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. On third down, he drops to throw. Rolls it in. A huge play, and they get it all the way to the 45-yard line. The Tar Heels will hustle to the line. Hey, it's important on offense in the passing game. You've got to have balance, and I mean you've got to be able to attack different thirds of the field. You've got to work the perimeter to both sides. You've got to let the defense know, too, that you're not afraid to go over the middle. They did right there. Johnson wants to throw it. Fired that thing out in a heartbeat, but it's incomplete. They couldn't connect on second down, now staring at a third and nine. From the gun, wants to pass. Trying to get... He unleashes a long one. And that'll be incomplete. They certainly weren't afraid to take a shot there. And now it's fourth down. And the Tar Heels will bring the punt team onto the field. They've been busy out there to punt for the fifth time today. The Wake Forest offense returns to the field. They've had to punt the last couple of times they've had it, David. Now trying to put something together. Well, Reese, you know how much I love punters and kickers. Like, you don't want to see them very often. Those are not guys that you want to see on the field. You want to do something else and be a little bit more productive offensively here. I think, David, on this drive, the quarterback's just got to settle down. These last few drives, looks like he's seen ghosts. We've seen him force the football. He's missed a couple of throws. He needs to just take a deep breath and play within himself. With the first down, they'll put it in play from the 33. Someone not clear on the snap count. It'll be a false start, and they'll move it back. False start. False start. False start. False start. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. Looking to throw. Catch in the middle. It's Alexander. They stop him just a link or two short of the first, and man, what they can do on second down here. And off from the shotgun. And the Demon Deacons get enough for the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. They're going to go right back to him on first down. And a nice run there before the defense finally makes the stop. Got eight on first down, now looking at a second and two. They'll give it to the back. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. They're about to run a dirty half dozen plays on this drive. Dropping back, it's Bachmeyer. Pocket starts to collapse. And they'll miss the connection here on third down. The Demon Deacons send out the punt unit. He'll try to really get into this one. And he will boom that punt out of bounds. No chance for a return. Let's see where the officials spot it. They'll run the RPO and throw it right. And he's able to shed one tackle and gets a pretty good pickup. After the good pickup on first down, let's see if they keep it on the ground. And I don't think they got it snapped before the play clock ran out. That is a completely avoidable penalty. The quarterback just went into brain lock and lost track of the play clock. Wrestled to the ground after picking up the first down. They are dialed in on this drive. A couple of chunk plays, and now they'll snap it on first down. They move the tight end all over. Off the play fake on first down to throw. Feeling some heat. And the pressure gets there. And down he goes at the 18. 
Play action pass success has a lot to do with selling that fake. You could tell defense was not buying it, got in the backfield, got the big play. We'll see if they can dig one up that goes forward this time on second down from the 18. He's looking to throw. Knew where he wanted to go with it, but couldn't find his target. It's incomplete. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. Getting some heat. And that defense gets to him, and down he goes at the nine. That's why as a defense it's so important to win early downs. You win first and second down, you set up third and long, now you can pin your ears back and get after the QB. The Tar Heels will line up to punt it away. And these guys have been busy, sixth punt of the day. So from his own end zone, the punt is away. Fair catch, called for and made. Wake Forest has it back, and here comes the offense. Their drive chart is starting to look a little monotonous. Punt, 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 David. And their defense is starting to get a little frustrated, too. They just keep putting me back on the field, possession after possession. Jesse, this offense needs to get their heads out of there. you know what. The punter's on the sideline with the oxygen mask right now. He's been playing so much. He's not used to this. This offense, they just got to stay on the field. They've got to put a drive together and get some balance going, running and throwing the ball. Quarterback touch pass on the jet sweep. They'll pick up four, second and six coming. Quarterback stands alone, all wide receivers. Looking downfield, it's Bachmeyer. Quick completion on the out. He's out of bounds, but not before picking up enough for the first down. And the Demon Deacons are marching down the field. The aerial assault continues. Quickly to the tight end. This offense has their work cut out for them, man, because the coverage has been so tight. And if you're not throwing to the sideline or you're not getting past the sticks, this defense is going to tackle you inbounds like they just did on that last play and bleed the clock. Fires to the wide out. Wide open downfield. And he's knocked down immediately, but they're in the red zone at the 14. The Demon Deacons have it with a first and 10. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. They'll keep it on the ground. And a nice solid pickup there before the defense wrestles him to the ground. Not a lot of ground to cover and not much to defend. A big third down and fires into traffic, intercepted. And after the interception and the turnover, this defense has set its offense up for business. Aggressive versus reckless. It's such a fine line when you're trailing and you need to make plays late in the game. The offense was reckless, turned the football over, and this one doesn't look great. North Carolina has it back in the Tar Heels, so pleased to send the offense back out. This is everything you could hope for in a rivalry game like this. Close game, waning moments, history waiting to be made, guys. And it's moments like this why you come and play for these two schools, right? To play in a game like this, in a rivalry like this, in a situation, David, game on the line late, who's going to take it? And you know when you make this play, you're immortalized. With this kind of rivalry, these are the highlights they'll be showing for years. Everybody will be like, I remember when so-and-so made that play against our biggest rival to seal the deal. Johnson looking to throw. And the third down pass is incomplete. And the Tar Heels will punt this one away. And he really needs to get away a good kick here. He gets it away from his own end zone. Good job by the coverage unit to stop the return man. On first down, here comes this offense. They're going to open this drive with a pass. And they won't make the connection, looking to make a big play there. The incomplete pass leaves them with second down. He's looking to throw. They're trying to get to him. 
Good job to toss that ball out of bounds and avoid the loss. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. From the gun, wants to pass. He's got the tight end. He gets it oh so close to the first down marker, but I think he's going to be a touch short. He'll go up top, maybe a deciding play here. Complete out of the backfield. Open space at the 25. And they finally get him to the ground. An easy conversion for this offense. Defense not exactly the perfect fourth down call there. To the air on first down. And that one falls incomplete, trying to get a chunk play on that one. After misfiring, it's second down. He's looking to throw. Got it in the middle, it's Alexander. The tackle is made, but he's got it first and goal from the six. Everybody has to be set. They have to get it off. He spikes it, clock stops as they try to rally late. After getting nothing, it's second and goal from the six. The run up the middle here, looking for a path to the end zone. And he has a solid game before the defense bottles him up. They're at their fastest tempo trying to get off this third down play. Trailing and getting deep in the game. They'll go for it here on fourth and goal. Looking to throw, it's Bachmeyer. Touchdown, wait! And inside a minute to go, and they've got the lead. Man, this game has been incredible to watch, and the offense comes through late in the game, takes the lead. What a clutch drive by this offense. Now, I'm looking at you, defense. You got the lead late in the game. I need you to go put this thing on ice and win it for me. They're going to go for two here and try to extend that lead to a field goal. From the gun, he'll try to throw. It's incomplete. They can't stretch out the lead as the two-point conversion attempt fails, but they'll still try to hang on for the final seconds. Looking for an alley from inside his own 10. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. They'll throw it on first down. He wants a big play here late. He makes the catch, but the official's right on top of it, signaling out of bounds. Got to get everybody lined up quickly, time winding away, and they've got to push the ball down the field. Coming after it. Oh, and they get to him. Had a chance for an all-time finish, but the defense put a stop to it, and that's the final play of the game. There is nothing greater than a rivalry game unless you lose it. And in that case, there is nothing more miserable. I agree, Reese. And that's why rivalry games are so great, because you take the stats and you take the rankings and you take the records and you throw it all out the window. There's always tremendous effort and passion when we see these rivalry games. We certainly saw it today. And David, for this losing team, this one's going to sting for a while. It does, but it's so strange because I always feel the same way. I'm like, there's no chance that they have a chance to upset them. But then you go, it's a rivalry game. The, 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 the vitriol, the hate, it's already there. And so it means so much in sports who's motivated for these games. So you do get up. It does become a good game, even when it's not a good game on paper. So that's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis saying so long. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.